All right, today we'll be taking off this throttle body to clean up carbon buildup that's in the throttle body and also clean up the idle air control valve that sits right below it. Disconnect the cable from the throttle body. There's one cable, and there's the second cable. And there's two 10 millimeter bolts over here. Okay. You take off this air hose. Attach this cable over here. There's another one underneath here. We have a electrical connection here. And we have this air tube over here. There. Just gonna wiggle it. And when I get this throttle body off this, there's two coolant lines underneath that I have to remove. Stainless steel gasket, and you have two coolant lines over here that need to be detached. I'm going to put a little paint mark so that I'll know what hose goes to which connector here. Now I'll take that hose clamp and move it down. Okay, that's down. This is going to leak a little bit of coolant. And there. There's the throttle body. And there is all that carbon buildup. And this is your idle air control valve. When this clogs up, your idle will get stuck high or low. So I'm using a brass brush here on my rotary tool combined with the carburetor cleaner. That part over here, that goes into your idle air control, which is this part right here. So we can spray solvent in here, but we can't move the valve that's in here because it's electronic. So we could take this idle air control assembly off. See all that carbon build up? Look a little better. There goes that port right here. See my finger in there, right there. See? 
And there's a port over here. That goes through here. These are where your coolant lines go. It measures the temperature in the coolant to determine whether to open or close this air valve in here. So I'll take a little bit of dielectric grease here. I'm just removing the carbon residue on the gasket. Like this electrical fitting. The tricky part is I got to tuck this corner underneath here. Okay. All right, so this is on. Goes over here. This goes over here. If you want to avoid all this carbon buildup that accumulates over time on the throttle plate, what you can do is install a catch can, which will channel the, the gases from the PCV valve to the intake into the can first so that you won't have this vaporized oil droplets accumulating on the plate and gumming it all up. But we'll be doing a video on that pretty soon.